Mr. Mayor, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. Uh, so I wanted to ask about the, the donors to your campaign. Are you concerned at all that any other donors are going to be caught up in any other investigation, whether it's a, a, a search warrant at their house or charges from a local prosecutor? And specifically about you, I know that you've maintained that the campaign has done nothing wrong. But how concerned are you, if at all, or how, how much can you guarantee that no federal prosecutors are going to ultimately find that your campaign was, was liable, that you were liable, that you did anything wrong? Either them or local prosecutors. How much will you maintain that you will not be charged with anything? Uh, you know, I would be shocked if someone states that our campaign coordinated in illegal behavior. A few moments later. Breaking news right now. Sources telling the Associated Press that Mayor Eric Adams has been indicted by a federal grand jury, making him the first mayor in New York City history to face an indictment. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for gathering. My name is Damian Williams, and I'm the United States Attorney here in the Southern District of New York. Today we are announcing campaign finance, bribery, and conspiracy charges against Eric Adams, the mayor of New York City. So congratulations to Mayor Adams on being the first New York City mayor indicted by the feds. Let's talk about it. Now, as many of you who watch this channel know, I deal with public corruption a lot, and we have a lot of it. Dalton, for instance, with Mayor Tiffany Henyard, who's likely going to be facing similar indictments pretty soon. But we are focusing on the great city of New York, population 8.3 million people, the largest city in America, and the executive government of the city seems to be corrupt to the core. Now, here's a quick list of all the New York City officials that are either under some type of federal investigation or there are allegations of wrongdoing. So first, the mayor of New York City, Eric Adams, he's been indicted by a federal grand jury, and we're gonna discuss that indictment later in this video. You have Sheena Wright, the first deputy mayor. Her home was raided on September 4th by federal agents looking into possible bribery scheme. Philip Banks, the deputy mayor for public safety, his home was also raided on September 4th. Schools chancellor, David Banks, his home was raided by the FBI and he resigned after the raid. Police commissioner, Edward Caban, the top cop in the city, he resigned after the FBI seized his phones in an investigation into a potential fixer scheme with city nightclubs. Interim police commissioner Tom Dunlan, his home was raided one week after he was appointed to be police commissioner. Next up is the New York City Sheriff Anthony Miranda. He's under investigation for mishandling cash in connection to enforcement of unlicensed smoke shops and possible involvement in a pay to play scheme. The New York City Health Commissioner resigned after all this madness came out and then the Chief Counsel to Mayor Adams also resigned. And just to be clear, that's not even a full list of everybody who is being investigated for these possible corruption schemes. Like for instance, the police commissioner's brother who's also under investigation. So now with all that said, you have a lay of the land. Let's get into this indictment and see what the feds are charging the mayor with. So first we're gonna start with the big picture. Mayor Adams is facing federal charges for conspiracy, wire fraud, accepting illegal campaign contributions and bribery. Now the allegations in the indictment span from 2014 to 2024. So we're gonna now dive into the specifics. Now, count one is conspiracy to commit wire fraud, federal program bribery, and receive illegal campaign contributions from foreign nationals. Now, the government claims that Adams and his team work with Turkish officials to funnel money through straw donors to his campaign. So now I have to tell you what a straw donor is. A straw donor is an individual who contributes to a political campaign, but they're reimbursed burst by some other source and that is a way to hide where the money actually came from. As an example in the indictment, the government alleges that there is a construction company where you have Businessman 5 and Businessman 5 contributed $22,000 to the Adams campaign through its construction company where they would give the employees small amounts of money to contribute to the Adams campaign but that money truly came from Turkish officials. Also under this first count, the government is saying that Mayor Adams was bribed with luxury gifts and they literally list the luxury gifts out in the indictment. They even put it in a nice simple chart for us. For instance, this 2017 trip to France, Turkey, and China. The government alleges that this, these were free business class tickets for three round trip tickets from New York to France, Turkey, and China, heavily discounted, and a stay in the Bentley suite at the St. 
Regis Istanbul. And the value was $41,000. Now count two of the indictment, we're talking about wire fraud. That's 18 USC section 1343. Now, the government is saying that this was a scheme to defraud New York City's Campaign Finance Board, or the CFB, by obtaining public matching funds through false representations. Now, it's important to note here, in New York City, you can get matching funds. So what does that mean? That means that every time a legal donor, let's say a citizen, wants to give you campaign $10, then the city will match that $10, and you'll have $20. But those matching funds are only available up to a certain amount, I think maybe a 10 or $15 million. And those matching funds are only available to legal donations from citizens, not foreign nationals or not straw donations. Now, in this case, the government is alleging that's exactly what Mayor Adams did. He got foreign nationals to give him money through straw donations. Remember, as we spoke about earlier, funneling the money from businessman number five to his employees to the Adams campaign. They made certifications, transferred them over the internet, and that gives you wire fraud. Now, count three is the solicitation and contribution for nationals. It says that, for instance, businessman one is a Turkish national who owned a profit business, and he met with Adams in 2015 and 2018, and Adams directed his staff to accept contributions from him, knowing they were from a foreign national. The solicitation gets you this charge. Count four is essentially the same thing, except particularly talk about the September 2023 fundraiser and October 2023 fundraiser. And in both of those instances, you had an organizer promoter who happened to be a foreign national. They pay something like $5,000 to attend. And then that's funneled through the straw donors to the campaign. And last but not least, we have bribery. Now, the government is saying that Adams corruptly solicited and accepted bribe in exchange for being influenced in his official actions. Now here, they point to a specific instance where Mayor Adams allegedly pressured the fire department to issue a T. CO, that's a temporary certificate of occupancy. Now, the building that was being built by the Turkish government didn't have proper safety inspections in place. So fire department officials were told that they could, quote, lose their jobs if they didn't comply and issue the temporary certificate of occupancy to the Turkish building. Then the government alleges that after the TCO was issued, that Adams received additional luxury travel benefits, including free business class flights to Guyana. Now, the government also, even though not charged, really lays out how the mayor tried to obstruct the investigation. For instance, on November 6, 2023, FBI agents executed a search warrant for Adams' electronic devices. Here, Adams taking questions from reporters today about the FBI's raid last week at his chief fundraiser's home. Federal investigators looking into whether the mayor's campaign received illegal foreign donations. Now, when they caught up with Adams, he didn't have his personal cell phone on him at the time. So the next day, he did produce the phone, but claimed he had forgot his six-digit password. So the feds allegedly couldn't get into the phone because Mayor Adams didn't know his password. Now, that's not all. One of Mayor Adam Staffers doing an FBI interview deleted encrypted messages from the apps on her phone while she was in the bathroom. The FBI claims that Adam's, quote, employee number one encouraged the Turkish businessman number four and the employees that they used to make the campaign donations to lie to the FBI. Now, the government alleges that Adams and his team created fake paper trails, suggesting that he paid for travel that he didn't, that he deleted communications and instructed staff to delete communications. And the government essentially saying that Adams did everything possible to obstruct their investigation. Now, that is the indictment, but I have to say a couple of things. Remember, this is an indictment and not a conviction. Mayor Adams is presumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law and the legal process must run its course. So even though these things look damning, there could be reasonable explanations. And as we've seen before, Adams could be found not guilty of all charges. So you have to keep an open mind. He is presumed innocent at this point in time. So now I wanna make this very clear. This is a super simple explanation for something that's a lot more complex. I'm trying to give it to you in bite-sized chunks so you don't have to watch a three hour live stream to understand what's in this document. But at the end of the day, what do you think should happen to the mayor of New York City? Do you think he should resign? Do you think this is all a nothing burger? Some people are saying that because Mayor Adams said that migrants were destroying New York City. Let me tell you something, New Yorkers. The migrant crisis taking on a new tone. Never in my life have I had a problem that I did not see an ending to. I don't see an ending to this. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City. That's why the Justice Department is against them. My fellow New Yorkers, 
It is now my belief that the federal government intends to charge me with crimes. If so, these charges will be entirely false based on lies. But they would not be surprising. I always knew that if I stood my ground for all of you, that I would be a target. And a target I became. For months, leaks and rumors have been aimed at me in an attempt to undermine my credibility and paint me as guilty. Just this past week, they searched the home of our new police commissioner, looking for documents from 20 years ago, just one week after he joined my administration. Enough. I will fight these injustices with every ounce of my strength and my spirit. If I'm charged, I know I am innocent. I will request an immediate trial so the New Yorkers can hear the truth. New Yorkers know my story. They know where I come from. I have been fighting injustice my entire life. That fight has continued as your mayor. Despite our pleas, when the federal government did nothing as its broken immigration policies overloaded our shelter system with no relief, I put the people of New York before party and politics. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Is the mayor being railroaded here? Is it because he called out Biden because of the migrant crisis? That's why they have him with these five counts? I don't know. I think it's time for the mayor to go. Now, if you've made it to this part of the video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all that great YouTube stuff. My name is Nate the Lawyer, and I wanna say one last thing. If you're listening to my voice now at the end of this video and you haven't subscribed, really, really, you watched the whole video and didn't hit the subscribe button. And for those of you who are subscribed, thanks so much. My name is Ate the Lawyer and I will see you in the next one. Peace.